Hello friends welcome back to my channel hope all of you are doing well today I'm gonna discuss about what is cloud computing simply put cloud computing is the delivery of computing services including servers storage databases networking software analytics and intelligence over the internet to offer faster innovation flexible resources and economies of scale. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power, without direct active management by the user. Large clouds often have functions distributed over multiple locations, each location being a data center. What are the three types of cloud computing? There are also three main types of cloud computing services. Infrastructure as a service, IAAS. Platforms as a service, that is PAAS. And software as a service, that is SAAS. These services are divided into three main categories or types of cloud computing. Why cloud computing is used for? Cloud computing makes data backup, disaster recovery and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud providers network. What are the three types of cloud computing? Top most common uses of cloud computing are IAAS, SAAS, hybrid cloud and multi-cloud, test and development, big data analytics. What is does cloud computing and how does it work? In most advanced terms, cloud technology works through data centers. Instead of using the storage space on your phone, computer or tablet, your information is housed on virtual servers. These virtual servers connect to huge data centers which have infrastructure to store and protect your data. So what are the four types of cloud storage? Private cloud storage, public cloud storage, hybrid cloud storage, and community cloud storage. So a question might pop up in your mind, who uses cloud computing? Organizations of every type, size, and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of uses, such as data backup, disaster recovery, email, virtual desktops, software development and testing, big data analytics and computer facing web applications. Who benefits from cloud computing? Whether you experience a natural disaster, power failure or other crisis, having your data stored in the cloud ensures that it is backed up and protected in a secure and safe location. Being able to access your data again quickly allows you to conduct business as usual, minimizing any downtime and loss of productivity. Now coming on to the example of cloud computing, common SAAS services include Dropbox, Salesforce, Cisco WebEx, PAAS services include Google App Engine, Apache Stratos, OpenShift. Some well-known IAS services are Amazon Web Services, that is AWS, Cisco Metapod, and Microsoft Azure. So what is thus the future or future of cloud computing? Cloud computing is powerful and expansive and will continue to grow in the future and provide many benefits. Cloud computing is extremely cost-effective and companies can use it for their growth. 
The future of cloud computing is bright and will provide benefits to both the host and the customer. Talking about cloud storage, cloud storage is believed to have been invented by computer scientist Dr. Joseph Carl Robnett Licklider in 1960s. About two decades later, CompuServe began to offer its customers small amounts of disk space in order to store some of their files. Why cloud is called cloud? The term cloud is used as a metaphor for the internet based on cloud drawing used in the past to represent the telephone network and later to depict the internet and computer network diagrams as an abstraction of the underlying infrastructure it represents. Is Google Drive a cloud? Google Drive is a free cloud-based storage service that enables users to store and access files online. The service syncs stored documents, photos, and more across all of users' devices, including mobile devices, tablets, and PCs. Is Gmail a cloud service? Software as a service? SAAS allows people to use cloud-based web applications. In fact, email services such as Gmail and Hotmail are examples of cloud-based SAAS services. Is cloud a storage? Cloud storage is a cloud computing model that stores data on the internet through a cloud computing provider who manages and operates data storage as a service. It's delivered on demand with just-in-time capacity and costs and eliminates buying and managing your own data storage infrastructure. How is cloud different from internet? The key difference between cloud computing and internet of things is the cloud computing provides host services over the internet. In contrast, internet of things connects surrounding smart devices to the network to share and analyze decision-making data. Top 10 features of cloud computers, service on demand, resource pooling, easy maintenance, economical, rapid elasticity and scalability, efficient reporting services, automation and security. Now let us understand in details how does cloud computing work. Cloud computing works by enabling client devices to access data and cloud applications over the internet from remote physical servers, databases and computers. An internet network connection links the front end, which includes the accessing client device, browser, network and cloud software applications with the back end, which consists of the databases, servers and computers. The back end functions as a repository storing data that is accessed by the front end. Communications between the front and back ends are managed by a central server. The central server relies on protocols to facilitate the exchange of data. The central server uses both software and middleware to manage connectivity between the different client devices and cloud servers. Typically, there is a dedicated server for each individual application or workload. Cloud computing relies heavily on virtualization and automation technologies. Virtualization enables the easy abstraction and provisioning of services and underlying cloud systems into logical entities that users can request and utilize. Automation and accompanying orchestration capabilities provide users with a high degree of self-service to provision resources. Types of cloud computing services. Cloud computing can be separated into three general service delivery categories or forms of cloud computing. IAAS. IAAS providers such as Amazon Web Services supply a virtual server, instance and storage as well as application programming interfaces that is APIS that lets users migrate workloads into a virtual machine. Users have an allocated storage capacity and can start, stop, access and configure the VM and storage as desired. IAS providers offer small, medium, extra, large and memory or compute optimized instances in addition to enabling customization of instances for various workload needs. 
in PAAS model, that is the next one, cloud providers host development tools on the infrastructures. Users access these tools over the internet using APIs, web portals or gateway software. PAAS is used for general software development and many PAAS service providers host the software after it's developed. Common PAAS providers host the software include Salesforce, Lightning Platform, AWS Elastic Beanstalk, and Google App Engine. Now let's talk in brief about the disadvantages of cloud computing. Security is often considered the greatest challenge facing cloud computing when relying on the cloud organization, risk data breaches, hacking of APIs and interfaces, compromised credentials and authentication issues, cost unpredictability. Just talking about cost and predictability, pay as you go subscription plans for cloud use along with scaling resources to accommodate fluctuating workload demands. Next is lack of capability and expertise with cloud supporting technologies rapidly advancing organizations are struggling to keep up with the growing demand for tools and employees with proper skill sets and knowledge needed to architect, deploy and manage workloads data in the cloud. So it's a very vast subject. I'm uh, dealing with only the nitty gritties of it. Future of cloud computing and emerging technologies. Over 30% of enterprise IT decision makers identified public cloud as their top priority in 2019, according to the RightScale 2019 State of Cloud Report. Still, enterprise adoption of the public cloud, especially for mission critical applications, hasn't been happening as quickly as many experts predicted. Today, however, organizations are more likely to migrate mission-critical workloads to public clouds. One of the reasons for this shift is that business executives who want to ensure that their companies can compete in the new world of digital transformation are demanding the public cloud. Business leaders are also looking to the public cloud to make advantage of its elasticity, modernize internal computer systems, and empower critical business units and their de and their DevOps teams. Additionally, cloud providers such as IBM and VMware are concentrating on meeting the needs of enterprise IT in part by moving the barriers to public cloud adoption that has caused IT decision makers to shy away from fully embracing the public cloud previously. Hope you liked my video on cloud computing in details. If you do need to see any video regarding any other topic, please do mention in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye and take care and have a nice day ahead.